So this is what my indoor herbs look like now. <clears throat> Sorry, got some after call. Yeah, so you see everything is reaching. This is the cilantro, opal basil, which is which is veining gr a lot of green because of the lack of sun, obviously. Peppermint, which is reaching outward and getting linky. Oregano, also getting linky. These four are garlic. Now, you won't believe that I actually cut these all the way down to here last night. Both of these garlics, I used them in, to, in dinner. And look where they are. They're, they're growing so quickly and amazingly and thick. So I'm going to likely cut these back and put them in dinner tonight. They stink though. They stink though. They don't smell good. And they don't even stink like onions. At least onions stink like something good is cooking, but they smell like garlic. So anyway, I was concerned that that smell left after I cut would smell up the room, but it doesn't. Because I want to do all this and come in and bathe and shower and wash my hair because my hair is going to be out while I'm doing it. And then I will tackle the rest of what I'm working on that are not garden related. So let's step out here for a moment. It's a little chilly. We're gonna have uh, one more hot day, I believe. So these are my backup lettuce. I need to repaint, paint, uh, plant some iceberg in there because my, my Vedina is not popping up. And whoa, 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 whoa. Man, sometimes. Okay, so this is my backup lettuce. This is the butter. Butter crunch for Mr. Sister. She loves that. And this is the red leaf. It's not very red because it's not, you know, because it's in this little planter. This is more opal basil. This is the one I want to take and put into the planter in the front. I'm glad I said that. That reminds me to do that. So I need to put this in the front. This pea is popping up. So I'm glad to see that. But I had another one over here that's not that I was supposed to have been replanted and didn't. Onions there on either side. And then I have this tomato that I was successfully able to cascade toward the middle so we don't have to worry about drop uh, it dropping seeds, which it did quite a bit of. They're gone. Mr. Must have got them. But yeah, they keep popping up down there at the bottom of the deck, but yeah. And you can see all of these flowers So these tomatoes are try trying to fruit one more again, all over again. Burgundy okra. You can see that big, you might be able to see that big fat one in there that I'm uh, keeping for seeds. The cucumber is dead and gone. Dead and gone, child. My verbena that wants to do a last round of greatness. I'm going to let it. Uh, I'm going to harvest these last couple of cucumbers here and then take this whole scene down and then I'm going to plant um, two snow peas there. Uh, I'm going to take off all my green tomatoes. Oh, these are blushing. These are turning red. I'm going to go ahead and let them turn red. But I'm going to take off these green tomatoes. Go ahead and make fried green tomatoes. And then I'm going to try my green tomato bites that I wanted to uh, try with those that are left. The okra that I'm gonna take indoors. It, it looks like it's bent, but it's not. I think the roots just ran out of room to be fed and be great. So I'm actually going to repot that and take that indoors, maybe today as well. My greens bed where I have a two collars. They're getting really, really, really big now. Really, really big. The leaves on them. Look at that. Look at how big that is. 
green onions here, which are doing great now. These are the last of the harvest for butter crunch and red leaf. I need to replace all those and I'm going to do so shortly. I need to move the spinach that I have started back here to where I want them to be in this bed. Now this is the yellow pear tomato that I haven't, that I've been tight-lipped about. That's why they're called yellow pear tomatoes. Yeah, I knew that was super ripe. Fell right off the plant. I don't like eating these outdoors because I usually avoid eating the tip because the tip is not as flavorful as the bulb. Not that the bulb is all that flavorful, but I'm going to eat it out here just because I don't, I don't want to throw any um, uneaten fruit outside on the ground to attract anything. Anyway, I have two purse lanes here, one here, and one here. I'll let them go grow wild on either side of this planter. Just to add them into different dishes for their health benefits. Here's another setup of peas. Peas, onions, and tomatoes cascading over the front. I may actually just take this plant and take that indoors. I may do that because it's already cascading in the direction I need it to. Oh no, I can't do that because... So yeah, there's my other burgundy okra doing her thing. Hey girl, hey. All that needs to be harvested. I have a couple of peas over here. Climbing this tomato cage. My green okra never did, never did do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, I see some wanting to flower now. So now my green okra wants to produce something now that the season's over. Here are the three. Rabina here, there, and there that I scalped. And they look like they want to give me a, another harvest before it gets cold, cold. But yeah, I need to come top top off these seed heads and then harvest all of these. What is the secret to this one not going to seed? I need to find out what the secret is to keep them from going to seed. I'll figure it out next year. Oh, let's get a few peas off of here. Got a few peas off of there. They're nice little size too. 